All right, so today, as you can see, I have some overripe bananas. So of course it's time to make some banana bread. I'll be using my Cuisinart bread maker. It's a very simple recipe. It actually doesn't take too long. Uh, so this is for a one pound loaf. What we're gonna start out with is our all purpose flour. After we got all our flour in, we're gonna put in our baking soda. Our baking powder next. Our vegetable oil. Eggs. And then two large bananas. And what I've done, I haven't mashed them, I've just cut them in half and then have them so they're easier for the machine to mix. We're going to put that in. And so this time it's a little bit different. There's a program on each one of the uh, bread making machines for dough. So you're going to use that dough program and make sure the timer is set to five. It usually takes about four or five minutes and you kind of want to watch it towards the end uh, to make sure that it's all incorporated. It may not need the whole five minutes. And then we're going to start that up. And we can watch through the window to make sure that everything's incorporated and mixed in properly. All right, so it's been mixing for about five minutes and I forgot to mention, you really do have to watch it because uh, usually each uh, bread machine has a default dough setting. Uh, and so make sure that you lower the time to five minutes or less uh, so it doesn't go too long. So it's been going for five minutes. I'm gonna open it up and all you're gonna do, just make sure if there's anything kind of stuck to the side, you're gonna scrape that down and make sure it's mixed in. It looks good. Uh, and if you see that it's lumpy, that's what it's supposed to be. Uh, it's not supposed to be a very smooth consistency. It's supposed to be a little bit lumpy. All right, so we got everything down off the sides. We're gonna close it. And then on this particular Cuisinart, the uh, bake program is number 12. So you just gotta set it to number 12. And the default setting is an hour and 40 minutes. We don't need that much, so we're gonna lessen the time to 50 minutes, although we do wanna start watching it at about 40 minutes to make sure it doesn't overcook. And then we're gonna go ahead and start it up, and we'll be back in 50 minutes. All right, so I just turned off the bread maker. I had let it go for the 50 minutes. I checked it before I turned it off, and it actually needed another 15 minutes. Uh, so I put it in for a total of an hour and five minutes. So that's why I always tell you, check, make sure that it's actually fully cooked. Uh, after the 15 minutes, it still needed a little bit more. But now, after an hour and five minutes, perfectly done. And look at that. That is fantastic. That's that color you want to see. It's a nice brown on the outside, and it's got that nice uh, color right up front. We're going to let that cool down for a minute and then take a slice off. So I've let it cool down for a couple of minutes. It still smells amazing. I'm going to take off just a little tiny slice here up front so we can taste this. Smells fantastic. Look at that, nice and fluffy. It's moist. Mmm. Delicious. Enjoy.